recently, Joe, I gave Louis a shot at the club, you know, after his Yeah, I heard little. about that. And, you know, Louis called me up and said, hey, do you mind if I do a spot? And I thought about it. I said, yeah, sure, no problem. You know, I like Louis. He wasn't yeah. arrested or convicted of anything. And yeah. so I put him in. He did fantastic. He and, calls me. He said, what do you think? I said, yeah, put and him on. after that evening, the backlash was just unbelievable. Yeah. You know, just I go, how long is enough? What does this guy have to do to try to get his career back? Right, but he, what is the backlash, though? Because the backlash is not your your the actual customers, right? It, no, not, it, 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 it was, they grabbed some female comics Who that aren't working. That aren't mm -hmm. working for me and that said that Mike locked the doors and put a sexual predator on stage. And you know, mm. I, it was like, everyone there enjoyed Louis and, you know, I'm just trying it, to help a friend get yeah. his life he came, back. He came in <clears throat> and he walked over to me. I give him a big hug. He goes, you got, we got no problem? I go, no, you nitwit. I said, I would have called you if that prick right had given me a number. He didn't give me a number. <laughs> he goes, that's not right. I go, I know. That's what I told him. I said, so I bring him on stage. He says, ladies and gentlemen, you know, this Me Too thing and everything. Here's a guy <laughs> who, who didn't touch any women. Matter of fact, he touched himself. That was the problem. They just happened to be in the room. And I said, you could have jerked off in front of me as long as you didn't get on my shirt. My shirt's <laughs> pretty expensive. I said, but. These are people <laughs> you gave a job to. The people that, that turned on him, he gave jobs to. And uh, that's not right. Well, there's a lot to that story. I don't there's, know. Yeah. There's a lot to that story that would make him look very different than a lot of these people that are accusing him. And one day I think he's going to tell us. So he, I had a conversation with him about it. It's it's not as cut and dry as everybody thinks. Right. Everybody thinks he had power over these women and he pulled his dick out and started. No, there was a lot of... There was a lot of sex talk. There mm -hmm. was a lot of flirting. There was a lot going on. It wasn't that simple. And he's very... Con ve he's very contrite about it. Yes, <laughs> very, very. And he knows he fucked up. And by the way, he hadn't done anything like that in more than a decade. Right. It was a long time. <laughs> he just, he just, he's got a kinky thing. He likes jerking off in front of people. Listen, I, I, can't, I, can't even, I can't even jerk off... If, if the neighbors are home, I'm a wreck. You know, I point. make weird faces, and everything. so it wouldn't be fun for anyone. But he's not I, a bad guy. No, no, he's a good guy. He's not a rapist. He's no. not a sexual predator. No, he didn't touch anybody? He, touch. he caught the worst part of the wave. Oh yeah. You know, like if you're in the ocean and you could be in the ocean on a on a fucking surfboard and you just catch this little tiny wave and everything's fine, or you could fuck up and be in the right spot when that giant wave comes and slams you in the head and you have the same intention and the same person. And other in other times. Times in history, he would have been fine. He he would probably be fine today, because everything is kind of there's enough of the females that have come out that have been full of shit, like Asia Argento and the girl who accused Chris Hardwick, and then Chris Hardwick released all these text messages that show that she actually cheated on him and she wanted right. him back, and she's just trying to punish him for all this. But these there's a, a few of those situations now where people realize, well, well there's. There's definitely sexual predators, and there's definitely bad men, and but there's also women who are taking advantage of this movement. Right. And I think the the world is sort of like calmed down a little. Like the Asia Argento th one was a big one. Mm. You know, when she it turned out that she was calling Harvey Weinstein a rapist while she was fucking a seventeen year old. Right. That right, she right, was right. she played his mom in a movie ten <laughs> years ago when he mm. was seven. It's like Jesus Christ! Like how could you how could you have that kind of hypocrisy? But there's a lot of that in, in people that are screaming for attention at the mm. front of the line of a lot of these things. A lot of them have, like, dark secrets themselves. Yeah. You know, and, they're, they're, like, what, oh, how, these people that don't want a guy like Louis to have a road to redemption. They don't want mm. him to work. Or even a guy like Aziz Ansari, which is even worse, he had a bad date with a girl. Right. Like, a bad date where she blew him, like, three different times and didn't want to keep going. Well, wait, he wait, kept wait. He said it. bad date. That sounds pretty good to me. <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> no, I, it's better than no backlash. blowing. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, but it's the whole thing was so crazy. It's like y y y there's w there's more than one side to every story like that, and to take someone's opinion or someone's perception of something as one hundred percent the actual event that happened without any other evidence, it's, mm. it's kind of crazy. I mean, I don't think I, I, I just I just think people have to recognize that Louis in particular. He's been out of work. He was out of work for 10 months. Yep. He lost all of his shows. Lost yep. all his, people right. think he didn't suffer from that. Oh, he no, lost he suffered. $30 million, Joe. Yeah. People that think he didn't suffer are crazy. Yeah. You're crazy. If you think he should never be allowed to work again, well, he's not a criminal. Okay? Right. right. He's right. not in jail. Right. 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 So what right. are you saying? Like He, he shouldn't everyone, be able to do stand-up? Everyone, everyone deserves a second And that was chance. my point. Yeah. I, I said, sure, Louis, come in. You know what? 
Yeah, I wanted to give him a fighting chance, and he, I guess he is back doing clubs now. And he's doing know, a lot of clubs. And uh, he and, was very. But that's it. It's all he's trying to do. He's, he's, he's just trying, trying to, to get his clubs. life back. Yes, you know. He's building his act again, doing clubs, and some fucking asshole releases his whole act on YouTube, so now all that material he has to chuck away. Right. So mm. he was writing during the time he was gone, right. but not right. performing, right. right? And then he puts together, you know, an act that, you know, look, you know as well as anybody, when you have new shit, it's got some goddamn holes in it, right? right? Mm -hmm. There's right. no yeah, way yeah. it comes up. Uh, I've never written a bit ever, maybe one or two in my whole career, that was the, that was the finished bit when I first did it on stage. Maybe right. one or two ever. They're always clunky, and, t and sometimes you have ideas, you're like, why the fuck did I even try that one? Uh -huh. Like the Parkland shooter bit, like uh -huh. when we, he was doing that bit. Right, right, which is, right. You know, it's a very unfortunate bit, right? especially when people who aren't in the club hear it, and then, right. but mm -hmm. who knows what that bit would have been if, if you someone gave him, didn't tape it. Yeah, if you gave him a year to work it out, right. he probably would have figured out a way to make it where it wasn't offensive and it didn't shit on those kids in the same right. way. My best stuff <coughs> was, was was years ago before cell phones and before because yeah. I, I didn't know. I yeah. just I just went out there. And now when I'm on stage, I'm constantly thinking, Oh, don't go there. Don't do that. Right. Don't cross that line. Because yep. some you know and, that's and, a terrible and, feeling for that, a comic. Oh, it's horrible. It's, it's horrible. half the funny shit that you and I have laughed at hard was something that someone definitely shouldn't have said. Oh absolutely. But they knew they shouldn't have said it. That's why they were saying it. They were saying it to make the audience laugh because they were like, I can't believe he fucking said that. Oh, yeah. Not like he means no, it. Like that's his there's actual no, thought. There's no there's no maliciousness behind no. it. I have no you think I I want people to spend thirty, forty bucks to go out and have me pissed him off and ruin your night with exactly. your wife for your date no, no you idiot i'm just trying to make you laugh exactly you know? 